Hmm. That's the last solution I wanted to hear from you. Although, I suppose it's no use trying to stop you now that you've made up your mind. Cao Cao, Yuan and I will secure your escape route. Whether you are successful or not, you're going to need a way out of there. Speaking of which, Yuan Shao said that Dong Zhuo is accompanied by the mighty warrior Lu Bu. Try not to get yourself killed, my lord. Zhang Liao is guarding Dong Zhuo's palace. He is well known throughout the land for his bravery. We must approach with caution. So, see! But I'll do what needs to be done. <laughs> nope. Okay. That dog's wall means. Surrender or die. Have you seen any suspicious characters lurking about? Don't let your guard down for an instant. Of course. I will let the others on watch know. What am I to do? to pass. this? Cao Cao, what are you doing here? You sniveling coward. You're here to kill me? 
You thought you could just come sneaking in here, you fool. Nubu, cut this imbecile to shreds. Huh. What a pathetic charade. I will end this foolishness now. Hmm. I am destined for failure in this encounter. I have no choice but to retreat for now. Seems that Dong Zhuo constantly has Lu Bu by his side. He must place great trust in him. Either that, or he simply mistrusts everybody else. As long as Lu Bu is with him, it's going to be rather difficult to assassinate Dong Zhuo. We can always find another way to deal with Dong Zhuo. Although, we should worry more about the fact that he's currently the one targeting us. It seems he's no longer in Luo Young. What is our next move, Cao Cao? Our attempts at a more subtle approach have failed. So now, we have no choice but to try and amass the strength we require to overcome him. Strength? So you mean raise an army? In that case, we should probably head to Chiao first. My lord! Welcome back, everybody. While you were gone, I'll crush you. We move. Master Cao Cao boldly attempted to assassinate the corporate tyrant Dong Zhuo. This was an act of true courage, and this courage has drawn many. I, myself, am one of those warriors. Master Li Dian, you seem to place great value on your sense of intuition. How can you put so much trust in what is simply a gut feeling? It's not a matter of whether I trust them or not. I can't explain it. But it just hits me. Oh! I just got another one! Eugene, I have a feeling you and I are going to get along great. Thank you, Master Li Dian. Somehow, I get that feeling, too. That 
That's so dull. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay? I'm the one protecting you, my lord. Dion Wei, you shouldn't worry about such things. Cao Cao saw all he needed to make his decision. Just because you may have been a lowly ruffian before, doesn't mean you'll always be one. You have earned Cao Cao's trust, as well as a new start for yourself. Dion Wei. If Shahodun vouches for you, there is nothing for you to worry about. So, can I count on you to protect me? Of course, my lord. I'll guard you with my life. Are you? Okay. Surrender or die. See. Yeah. See. Hey, Cao Ren. Why are you always so serious? You used to be, well, quite a bit more, how should I put it? Mischievous. That's the word. <sighs> Speak no more of it. I'm a very different person now. I would prefer that you not bring up my past. So this is where you went. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. This is my entire force. Assembled here. Let's go. Want to keep you on Shao waiting? One moment, <laughs> my lord. I have come all this way to fight for you. But you, aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. Uh, I heard that you were declaring yourself, Uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you, because we are under the same sky. I see. I hadn't expected you. 